Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy The Feist back with another video and this video I wanted to discuss an issue that I was having today when I was trying to get Fortnite working on my PC because I usually play it on the Xbox One. But uh, I'll give you the story, but before I get it started, yo guys, if it's your first time here, definitely be sure to hit, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know if this really helped. I just slammed my table. I don't care. Um, but let me just start discussing. So what happened was I was trying to install uh, Fortnite, or I should say I was trying to use the Epic Games Launcher, and I had this before in a previous drive, but that drive died. So I got another drive and just put it in my computer. But the thing was, I was trying to get the Epic Games Launcher to install and it was saying invalid drive I. And I couldn't get anywhere further. I wasn't able to uninstall it and it was such a headache. I went through forms and stuff, but then I was actually able to get it to work. So this is how I did it, guys. I already did it, so I can't really, I don't want to go through the process of doing it again, but it's very simple, and I'll kind of explain it and guide you guys through it. So in my case, it's that invalid drive I. If I go to, I'll, you know, I'll go, I'll open it up real quick. If you look at my devices, I kind of, I have C, D, recovery, F, and G. G was the one I used because I don't really use it a lot um so i kind of use that as my drive thing but what i really did here was i changed the the map of the drive from g to i to resolve this issue now the reason i wanted to do this was not because i had the folders necessarily because i was missing a lot of things because it was in that that old drive but that allowed me to actually do the reinstallation of it and then I fully removed the installation and I put it on my C drive because that's the thing I had, not the C drive, the D drive because that's the one where I have terabytes of data. So I wanted to have my Epic game launcher there. But now I'm gonna kinda show you how you do that. So, so just to kinda summarize what we discussed, I needed the drive to be I, but I don't have that anymore because that drive died on me. So I had some files in certain locations in the system that was saying, hey, Epic Game Launcher wants a drive called I. I was like, okay. So what I did was the next thing, and I'll kind of close this so then I could show you guys was, I hit the command uh, for Windows, which is the, you know, the, the Windows uh, icon, and I typed disk management. That's gonna pop up this thing on here on Windows 10 that says create and format hard disk partition. Yeah, let's do that. Um, we're not gonna do any partitioning, nothing like that. But remember how I said I wanted to use uh, the G drive because in my case that was the thing I really didn't use too frequent. That was the thing what I did is what I did. So what I did here was I right clicked here and I said change drive letter and paths. So I did that and then I you know clicked on this and I said change and then I changed it to I and then I hit OK after that. So then it, you know, it prompts you saying some things like, hey, you know, there might be some things that are in use on this or whatever. Like, do you want to continue? And uh, I'll just do it now with this iteration. But I said yes. So it changes it to I. So then the next thing I did was I tried to use the Epic installer and it was like, oh, hey, yo, do you want to start doing the installation on this thing? And I was like, yes, so I did a full installation on it, and then I did an actual uninstallation of it, because now it actually probably has all those files and stuff. Um, so what, that's essentially what I did. I'm going to change this back now, because that um, I, I, I need it to be what it was before. So I need it to be the G drive. Yep, there. So I did that. Then I did the installation, then I uninstalled it, and I chose it to go to the path that I wanted it to go. But that was essentially all I did to get this going. But every time I hit the Epic installer, it was saying invalid drive I. So I changed, I went to disk management, changed the letter to one of them to be I, and then I clicked on the installer and ran through it. And that's what resolved the issue for me to get the Epic Games uh, launcher to uh, to actually work. So that's how I deleted it, and that's how I reinstalled it so I could actually have Fortnite on my desired drive that I wanted to. Again, I'll state it again. Um, the reason why I didn't do it on the other drive that I wanted 
uh, which was the D drive in my case is because I have terabytes of data there and I had a lot of stuff going on at the same time while I'm playing here. Um, so that was, a, the, the G drive is basically a free drive that I have to the side that's solid state that I use very little things for. So that's the reason why I didn't do it on this drive yet. So I, I use the G drive to fully, fully install a working version. Then I use the, what is it called? The control panel to remove and what is it called? I went here to remove programs. And then I looked for the Epic Game Launcher. And then that's when I uninstalled it after the fact, once I had it working. So that's essentially all the things that I did. So I'll, let me do a summary really quick because I know there's a lot of information that I kind of gave. First, we had to try to use the Epic installer. It wasn't successful, it said invalid drive I. So then we opened up disk management. Then over here, we basically said whichever one we wanted, we right clicked it, said change drive letters and path, in my case, to I. So then I could do the installation using the Epic installer. Then after that, I did an uninstallation of it by going to the control panel and we said add or remove programs. And then we looked for the Epic launcher and then did a full in, uh, uninstallation uh, of it. And then we did a full reinstallation of it choosing because it gave us the option this time on which drive we wanted it to so that was all the stuff we did epic installer said no denied go to disk management change it to the one that you need go to the epic installer again it's like oh this this reaches status quo do the installation go to control panel uninstall it then run the installer again, choose it to the drive that you wanted. And voila, that's how I had it working from my case. So yo guys, let me know what you guys think. I really hope this was uh, informative. I know it was a very long winded conversation and stuff, but I felt the more information I gave you guys, the better it is. And you know, if you guys are still having issues, just let me know in the comments and I definitely would love to help you out. I love doing that stuff. and. The more information that people give me in the comments, I actually pin it at the top. So then um, in the future, if someone else comes and they have questions and you know what I was saying didn't help them and someone else comes along the way and say, oh, this is what I actually did, then they can do that as well. But uh, I just wanna say thank you guys sh so much for showing that love and support. It really means a lot and I will catch you guys next time. Peace. See you guys. Thank you guys so much for showing that love and I will catch you guys later. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, if this is your first time here and you're watching from YouTube, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you ever come to Twitch, definitely be sure to hit that follow button. Come join us on Discord. The link is below in the YouTube description. Also, last but not least, I want to say major, major, major shout outs to the sponsors. If you guys also wanted to financially support the stream, definitely be sure to check out that YouTube description below. There is a Patreon link. And if you can't support financially, don't worry, guys. There's other ways you can actually show support. That's getting the word out, sharing the content, letting friends and loved ones know about this uh this channel tell them to come and hang out come join us on discord you will not regret it it's the best community slash family ever it says it right there on the freaking board yo thank you guys so much for hanging out i love you guys so much and i will catch you guys next time let me know in the comments below what you would like to see next what you think about the video and so on i'll catch you guys next time see ya